Hello and welcome to Cooking with Leo. Tonight we're going to make easy eggs with broccoli. You may remember the broccoli, a different bag from uh, the most recent episode of Cooking with Leo. So similar situation, we're gonna put all of it, uh, again, the rest of that bag. So I guess I had more than one bag open at once. Uh, now they're both empty into a frying pan. It's not much broccoli, but I'm just making more of a snack. Now this top is too small for that frying pan, but it's a large frying pan, so I don't know if there's a larger top. Um, that is the same size top. Um, so what we're gonna do is use this small top because it'll it'll be fine. The whole point is to keep the heat and moisture in um, while the broccoli thaws. After three or four minutes, I took the top off just to turn the broccoli over to make sure that all the sides get thawed. I already turned most of them over. And then I'll put the top back on. Carefully, because it might be hot. There they go. Getting pretty steamy. Okay, so now that the broccoli appears to be cooked, or, or at least uh, not frozen anymore, I'm gonna take the top off and add some olive oil to it because what I want is when it goes in the eggs, or when the eggs go in, I want it to be um, a little bit crispy and not just moist. So I'll just push it around, make sure it's all covered, and then this won't take long. I'll just leave it to sizzle for maybe a minute or two. So I let them uh, sizzle for probably a minute and a half on one side, and then I flip them, and you can see that they're a little bit brown. Um, so it's just up to you how crispy you want them to be, but it's best not to overcook them. Okay, so I have an assistant holding the camera so that I can crack eggs because I can't crack eggs with one hand. So the easiest way to do eggs is just to crack them. Uh, you can crack them on the side of the pan. One. Here goes another one. Two. We're going to do another egg. Alright. Egg number three. Boom. Crack. Three eggs. Then um, you can do... You can uh, do a lot of different things with eggs. I'm going to sprinkle some salt on and some pepper. And then I think for these eggs, I'm going to do nothing. So they're going to sit here and cook for a little bit, and then I'm going to push them around. And that's it. So I changed my mind a little bit because um, you can do that. And so I'm going to push these eggs around a little bit sooner than I thought I would, partially just to move things along, because I'm hungry. And so what I'm going to make, I mean, this is going to end up being like a weird combination of like scrambled and easy and medium and over and, you know, it's, that's, that's the plan. And so I like to keep an eye on if there's any like really raw looking situation like that. I can just get under there, just get right under there flop it or flip it and that's probably it's probably in pretty good shape I'm not really concerned that any of it is not edible at this point um, or you know safe to eat um, but you can also tell just by doing a little more pushing and oh, there we go yeah so I think that's it so I might leave it for another 30 seconds just to just to settle um, you can also take it off the heat if you want, so it's still going to stay hot in the pan um, if you want to like slowly cool it down. Look at that. And ta-da! It's on the plate.